My name is Jennifer Klitsky, and this is Gift of Freedom, my naturally gated Tennessee walking horse. In this video, I'll share tips in riding a gated dressage test. When the rider before you has completed their final halt salute, you may enter the outside of the arena to school your horse before your test. I like to ride my horse at a walk or flat walk in both directions by the judging area because it often intimidates horses. Relaxation for the horse is key in a dressage test. Some arenas have flower boxes along the letters and it is a good practice to let the horse ride by these, especially if the wind is blowing the flowers around. As soon as you hear the bell or whistle from the judge, you have 45 seconds to enter the arena and begin your test. You can talk to your horse during the warm-up phase, but you'll get penalized for using your voice or clucking while, while you're in the arena during your test. Position your horse to ride in straight at A. There are many gated dressage tests to choose from of varying levels of difficulty. Fosh, Enwa, Western Dressage, and Cowboy Dressage all have gated dressage tests. Teach your horse to halt square and remain immobile for three seconds before proceeding forward. It helps if you remember to smile as you ride towards the judge. Many of the introductory tests are two-gated tests. In this video I am riding the National Walking Horse First Level Test 1, which requires medium walk, free walk, flat walk, running walk, canter, and canter lengthenings on 10 meter, 15 meter, and 20 meter circles and straight lines. You are permitted to have someone read your test as you ride at most shows. I memorize my tests since I'm usually showing by myself. It's important to bend your horse through the turns. Ride as close to the edge of the arena as you're able, but be careful not to bump out of the arena as you will be eliminated. Each test has required movements that are evaluated on a score from 0 to 10. Among the judging criteria are rhythm, balance, bend, relaxation, impulsion, and precision. Dressage test movements mirror each other to show that you've trained an ambidextrous horse. Dressage shows require pre-entry. So if I see a USDF schooling show in my area that I would like to ride at, I contact the show secretary and ask if I may enter my gated horse and ride the National Walking Horse Association tests that are exactly like the USDF tests with flat walk in place of trot. If they agree, then I mail my test and my current Coggins with my entry fee and my entry forms. The show will post a schedule of ride times, usually 24 to 48 hours before the show, so you can plan your arrival and your warm-up accordingly. Check with the show to see if there are open arena times to school your horse before your test. Recognized shows do not permit this, but many schooling shows do, which helps the horse get acclimated to the strange surroundings. When you get to the show, check in with the show office for your number and ask if the show is running on time. Oftentimes there are scratches and you may be asked to ride earlier, although you are not required to, but it is courtesy to do so if you are able. Other times the show is running behind schedule, and you want to know this to pace your warm-up. If you have a horse like mine, you don't want to wear your horse out before your test.
Schooling shows do not require that you wear formal attire or braid the horse's mane. I often wear my formal attire since I don't show at recognized shows, and it also makes for nicer photos. However, riders are required to wear an approved helmet with a chin strap and boots with a heel. Informal riding attire is acceptable, such as breeches and a polo shirt. The horse must be ridden in a mild snaffle bit and a dressage or an all-purpose English saddle or western saddle depending upon the test you've selected. Schooling dressage shows are a friendly environment to receive constructive feedback from an experienced dressage professional on where you and your horse are at in your training, what's working and what needs improvement. I love dressage tests because they force me to train all of the required movements in both directions. Invariably, there is one direction that is harder for me and for my horse, and there are some movements that I would rather avoid, but a dressage test forces me to face both directions in all of the required movements. The test itself requires precision to perform the movements at the letters and riding the horse in the correct form, executing the right aids, and in the proper riding position. All of this is judged by the judge from a score of 0 to 10. After your final halt salute, Ride your horse forward toward the judge at a free walk on a long rein. Sometimes the judge will offer verbal feedback in addition to the written comments on the test. While you are riding your test, the judge verbalizes feedback to someone sitting next to them called a scribe and they will write down the feedback on the test. The tests are given to the show office afterwards and added up for the final score. Turn right or left, exiting the arena at A, remaining at a free walk on a long rein. Sometimes gated dressage is placed in its own category, and other times gated dressage is scored along with the trotting horses of the same level. Scores are usually posted for placings and the test will be available for you to take home with you. When picking up your test from the show office, remember to return your number. Thanks for watching and come visit us at naturallygated.com.